So welcome back to Rock Solid Motorsports. Today we have the privilege to introduce to you this beautiful 1970 Ford Torino GT Fastback. And this gorgeous Fastback comes to us benefiting from a uh, repaint in the original medium red exterior and complemented by the factory correct black vinyl interior, accented by those cool painted steel wheels with the dog dish hubcaps. And what a great body style for these Torinos. And this body style is appreciating more and more. And this particular example comes to us, it is a very nice car. And powered by the F-Code 302 V8, backed by the cruise -matic automatic power steering. It's an easy driving car. And this car is a documented low mile car with just over 40,000 original miles. So, and it's a great sounding car too. So we'll grab the other camera, we'll go for a test drive. So now we'll take that awesome 1970 Ford Torino GT Fastback for a test drive. Yep. Yeah. And the odometer, and it is documented on the title, and we all know how difficult it is to keep the mileage on the titles these days, especially with these classics, but it does say actual miles. And the odometer is showing 40,662 miles. Uh -huh. And just looking at the bottom side of this car, I believe that to be accurate. The mm -hmm. metal throughout the car, I mean, all appears to be extremely original. And yeah. actually just driving the car, it doesn't feel like one that's been blown apart. It, no, it feels like a very tight original car. And that F-Code 302 V8 just fires right, right up every time we get in the car. Cruise-O-Matic transmission, if I put it in gear. Yeah. <laughs> just performs just like it should. Actually better. That's got a four barrel now. Oh, well, I was talking about the transmission, but yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the cruise matic yeah, yeah. the F-Code, yeah. I mean, it drives out extremely well. Transmission shifts smooth. Tyler said it has been upgraded from a two barrel to a four barrel. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get a little bit better performance and actually a little bit better fuel economy. Uh, if you keep it on the four barrels. Yeah, as long as you don't open all four, four barrels, because your primary jets are smaller than four barrel than they are two barrel. So this car is a low mile example. Uh, very clean, solid example of these great appreciate body style Torinos. Absolutely. I always liked this body style. I like the sharp muscular lines. I mean, the nice wide front grille, the kind of uh, ram air look at the hood. I mean, it's just, a, they're a great looking car. And they made some great improvements. I mean, the ride on the 70, you know, the yeah. 69s were great cars too, but the, the ride on these 70s, it's just, a, it's not a great ride to it is, yeah. And this particular car um, has had a repaint and a lot of new seals. So I'm not getting a lot of road noise or air noise. I've got just a hint. Uh, I'm not getting really any wind noise on my side, just a little bit of road noise. Whatever wind I'm getting is from the fresh air vents. And we're at 55 miles per hour. And, uh, aftermarket tachometer is rolling right about 2,400 RPMs. And it came from the factory with uh, it was a three to one. Yep, three to one. Uh, conventional. It, so, yeah, yeah, so that, that seems in line. Yeah, it should be a great highway cruising car. Absolutely. And this car is still outfitted the way it came from the factory. I mean, that medium red paint, the black vinyl interior, the correct side moldings. I mean, 
power AM steering, radio. power brakes, AM radio, yeah. Now it has been upgraded with a JPC AM FM CD stereo, but yeah, it does still have the factory AM Philco in its place in the dash. And all your factory gauges, when you have three, the speedometer, well, and your odometer, uh, temperature gauge, and your fuel gauge all work. Yep. And like we said, it does have an aftermarket tachometer, and it does have an aftermarket oil pressure gauge down below the dash, too, that appears to work. It's a reading. Going around the roundabout, it's handling the roundabout just fine. Yeah, no excessive body roll. Just enough. Yeah, just right for a 70 Torino. So we'll let that 302 breathe a little bit. Downshift, right? strong. No, it's very it's strong. not a small car by any means, so. No. No, yeah, I pulled up to 60 pretty good. Yeah, it did very well. Yeah, it sets you back in the seat. It sounds good. Yeah. It does. Yeah, it's got a great note from that aftermarket dual exhaust. Yeah. But, and just a great car. I mean, it's an easy driving car. Yeah, it's an effortless classic. I mean, it's a no excuses classic. I mean, it's bump key start, and power steering, power brakes. I mean, it's one you can just get and enjoy. Not have to worry about. And great curb appeal. With that red exterior, the black uh, accented hood, hood yeah. the steel body color painted uh, yeah. wheels with the dog dish hubcaps, which gives it that that cool 70s muscle car, yeah. uh, kind of Ridge Runner, Rum Runner type yeah. look to it. But it's just a great car. So, and these cars are appreciated. And it's tough to find them with this kind of miles in this condition. Absolutely. So uh, if you're in the market, you definitely want to stay tuned. Watch the walk around inspection. Yeah, any flaws in this car are extremely nitpicking. So very minor. Yeah, so you'll want, yeah, you'll just see a handful of those, but otherwise it'll just be a highlight reel of a beautiful Ford Trio GT. Yeah, so stay tuned. So now that we're done with the test drive, we'll do our walk around inspection video on this beautiful 1970 Ford Torino GT Fastback. And like we said previously, the car is low mile example, 40,000 plus miles, and it has been repainted, which the paint overall is in very good condition. It does have just a little bit of orange peel in it, about what you would expect from a factory paint job in 1970. They did have a little bit of orange peel in them, so it, it wasn't like over restored. But, and there's a lot of parts and components on this car that really appear original, including the floors and the steel on this car. But we'll go ahead and we'll start here with the driver's side of the windshield. And it's very clean, very clear. Might have some, just a little bit of scratching right there. Your windshield uh, molding's in very good condition, not showing any dents or dings to speak of. And coming down to your driver's side front fender, very clean, very straight. Did you have like a scuff? Was it a dirt? I think it's just dirt. It's gone. Yeah. yeah. So we had a little bit of dirt on the fender. I think we might have, no, that's dirt too. <laughs> but so you got those great painted steel wheels with the Ford Motor Company dog dish hubcaps wrapped in the Cooper Cobra radial GT tires. And I think those are a little bit older, but. So the front of the fender, very clean, free of any chips, or dents or damage. Coming on the driver's side of the hood and the top of the fender, very clean. You have a little rub through on the paint, looks yeah. like right there. Maybe it's been yeah, over buffed, just, maybe just a little bit on the just, very edge. Yeah, just on the edge of the hood. I think they kind of hit the line, some of the striping with the buffer. It's got some kind of white in it in some spots. And it looks like the correct 
black to me. Mm -hmm. And it's not the striping it's painted on, but it's not perfect. There's some imperfections, kind of what you would expect from 1970. But um, your front grill is in very good condition. No breaks, no cracks. The chrome around it's in very good condition. Your front bumper appears that it could be original. It's showing just some slight age. And we do have some Meyer scratches. Meyer scratches and there's they're kind of there's a few of them throughout, but I'm not seeing any dents. The lower cows in very good condition. Showing very little wear since the repaint. Your Ford GT emblem in the center of the grill is in very good condition. Passenger side of the hood, very comparable to the driver's side. We are missing a little bit of paint right there in the, the one stripe. Let's well, so the edge of the hood doesn't have the burn through like the other side, but you do still have a little bit of that white in the stripe in places. Your factory antenna might have just a little bit of slight age at the base and on the antenna itself, but top of the fender is very nice and straight. No damage to speak of. Both your marker lights are actually Ford marker lights. This one here has got, it might have got heated up at one point, a little bit of warpage. But your paint is very good. We've got some more dirt, wax or something, a test drive. We do have a little imperfection in the paint right there, a little bubble. Almost looks like a, like a chemical pop. Maybe or something dirt got in there during the paint. And I think these actually, there's about a half dozen very minor stone chips down there. All four of your wheels and hubcaps are in very good condition. The tires have good tread, but they are older tires. Your passenger side of the windshield is very clean. Windshield surround again on this side is very clean, nice and straight, shines well. Passenger side mirrors in very good condition. Same with the passenger side door. Yeah, and that's some wax too. That's dirt too. It does look so, like we have some like light drips. On the edge of the door. Yeah. Put the rockers nice and clean and straight. You do have a small chip right there, probably from keys, but yeah, most likely. Your door handles in very good condition, showing very little age. The passenger side window trim is starting to show some age there. I wouldn't be surprised if that's not original. Your drip rail trim is in very good condition. And then this lower portion of trim shows a little bit of age again. Both your driver's side pieces of glass very good condition. There's some very light scratching in the middle of the passenger side glass. And then coming into the interior, uh, your door's nice and clean. You're going to find a very nice, appears to possibly be an original interior. Your door jams are extremely clean. Even your threshold plate is free of any heavy wear or defects. Carpet does appear to be a little older, uh, not showing a whole lot of fade. There's a little bit of wear to it, but not bad. Section is very good condition. Your dash pad, your dash are all in excellent condition. Very straight and clean, no heavy cracks or warpage to note. Glove box is in very good condition. Vents are in excellent condition. Turner GT emblem is still fitted with AM radio, but has been upgraded with an aftermarket JVC AM FM radio. But your front bench seat is in excellent condition. No heavy wear or cracks in the vinyl. Seat back's in excellent condition. Rear carpet's very comparable to the front, in excellent condition again. Showing some slight wear, nothing major. 
Your rear bench seat is in very good condition. Again, showing little to no wear. Interior panel on the rear here is in very good condition. Window crank is nice and bright. And your headliner throughout is in very good condition. And your dome light works like it should. Coming back outside the roof of, and these doors open and close very well. No sag. Uh, your passenger side of the roof, nice and straight. I think a little real nitpicky little chip right there in the paint, but coming down to the passenger side rear quarter. Very clean. Your side trim moldings and GT emblems in very good condition. We do have, Tyler, we got a little a minor little ding in the paint. But your wheel molding trim's in very good condition. The back of the rear quarter's in very good condition. We do have well, some dirt. But we do have just a handful of very minor stone chips behind that drive tire. Ford plastic again. Trano emblems in very good condition. Coming to the rear deck lid and the rear glass. The rear glass is in very good condition. The trim is in very good condition. Your deck lid is in very good condition and your gaps are really good. <clears throat> your rear moldings on the deck lid are in very good condition. The same with your rear tail light lenses. I think we do have then that tail light lens. Tyler's showing you the rear roll pan. And, uh, in the, we do have a crack in the lens there in the rear tail lights behind the honeycomb. The honeycomb behind doesn't the honeycomb. appear to be cracked. Yeah, but your bump, your rear bumper does show a little bit of age. Not really seeing any dents. We no, do have a very couple, straight, a couple little chips in the chrome, and then there's some there's some age there, but. Getting the keys. The driver's side. Remember where your pocket? I put it in. Oh. The trunk opens just like it should. And, oh, I forgot about. We do have some spare bits. Uh, it does have the spare with the factory jack. And we've got a full set of 1974 uh, shop manuals, some touch up paint. And then just a, some odds and ends, extra parts. The factory air cleaner. Some, some headlights. But I'll move this air cleaner. So the rear quarters and the correct filler panels. Not seeing any seams in the quarters, so they appear to be all original. And your trunk pan, your metal on the rear is all very solid. And yeah, drive for passenger side, same way. It looks like factory undercoating on the inside and your floor pans and very clean. Wow, your trunk lid's in excellent condition. Factory jack extensions and you got your, it does have uh, air shocks on the rear and that's your, where you fill those up. You wanna jack that back end up a little bit. Coming to the driver's side rear quarter. Very nice and straight again. Emblem's in good condition. Same with the paint. 
There is a couple, a couple minor stone chips back there behind that tire again, which you would kind of expect the car that has been driven and not just trailer. But all your chrome and emblems are in very good condition. Your lower trim on this rear quarter glass is starting to show some uh, pitting. It has some age. The upper trim's in very good condition. And then the door, the lower trim on the door has got some age, a little bit of pitting as well. The driver's side of the roof, not seeing anything really to note, on the negative anyway. And then the driver's side door is in very good condition. Same with both the rockers. Rockers on both sides of the car are very nice and clean. A little nip piece to oh, dirt. dirt. Uh, this is a stone chip. Yeah, that is. Right there, and you do have a little touch up just below the door right there. And it looks like you might have a couple more of those drips on this door, like the passenger side, but not as bad. Your driver's side door handle shows a little bit of age. Coming in the driver's side of the interior, very comparable to the passenger side. Just Doors. a very nice interior. Very clean again. The bottom of the door is nice and clean. Again, door jams are excellent. You might have just some minor scratches and touch-ups down by the threshold. The threshold on this side is showing a little bit more age and wear. Your driver's side door panel is in excellent condition. Oh, we do have, though, a little little shaped tear there. Your armrest is in very good condition. And driver's side of the seat is in very good condition. No heavy wear defects to note there. And I don't know if Tyler noted, it kind of looks like the lower portion of that seat has been recovered at some point. Steering wheel's in very good condition. You do have an added tack on the column. Actually, all your gauges are nice and legible. All your controls are nice and legible. Okay, good shot of how straight that dash is. You do have a little bit of discoloration up here. Your trims meet, but you shoot both of your visors. Actually, I might have missed the door panel that passed you inside. Can't remember, but I'll give you a good shot of it now. It's in very good condition. But we're having any tears. You have a little poke in the back of the seat, but your ashtray and trim are both in very good condition. Rear carpet is in very good condition again, just showing some light wear. Rear seat is excellent. Actually, your rear kind of parcel shelf is in excellent condition. Coming back outside the car, we'll head underneath that hood. Very tidy engine bay, very unmolested, housing that uh, great F-Code 302, Ford 5 liter. Well, and it has been upgraded from a two barrel to a four barrel. We'll jump in it, we'll fire it up and show you some lights working. Okay, the car is up. Nice and easy every time. No knock, no weird noises. Nice heavy hood. So those are your headlights. Your brights. Driver side turn signal. Passing the side turn signal. The wipers are working. 
He's got a great exhaust when it comes to the dual exhaust, but there's your rhyme lights, brake lights, driver side turn signal, passenger side turn signal, and reverse lights. All your lights work just as they should. So if you're in the market for a great muscle car from the 70s or Ford Torino GT, you definitely want to take a close look at this beautiful 1974 Torino GT Fastback, Rock Solid Motorsports.